It's Dumber! <laughs> Dumber, how do you like the hood? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it a lot? One guy commented on here and said uh, the gap. Well, he's probably watching the video. He said the gap is horribly uneven and I need to adjust it. Fake news, you can't adjust this hood. It has one bolt and it goes into one spot. There is no adjusting it, but... Oh look, it's even over here too. This is great. Um, the uh, 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 I put a hood on my truck. My truck was adjustable. That took like three hours to adjust that. But this goes on one way. I love it. It's good. It needs to get sanded. But other than that, we Gucci. You're like a little whack-a-mole. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have uh, today on today's episode, we have uh, Raxium, Raxium, Raxium. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce. But they are replacement mirrors. As you know, this one mirror was missing on this side, and that one is sun, what is it, sun stained? Like sun, sun, faded. sun faded. We are replacing them uh, with these two mirrors. Uh, the main reason I got these mirrors was so we could retain the actual electronic controls inside of the Mustang. Um, these are controlled, you know, with a little knob. Uh, and I wanted to retain that. But on top of that, these have really nice blinkers that are slightly smoked that are built into the uh, mirrors. So it's gonna, it's gonna look really nice. Comes with a really nice wiring harness uh, that goes right to uh, this guy right here. And then we'll tap into the spots that we're about to figure out, which Thumper is going to tell us. It's not focused yet, wait. Wait, oh my God, so there, there he is. Okay, Thumper, tell us where. Somewhere in the park. Where are we tapping in at Thumper. Why are you walking away? No, you don't. <laughs> this is your first time watching this series. This is called Rune Car Revival. This is where I bought a Mustang that was all really banged up, destroyed, and awful. Uh, and basically, we are reviving it. Rune Car Revival. I can only do this with the support of my patrons. Here on Patreon, I am going to be giving this away to someone on Patreon. Someone is getting this entire Mustang just for supporting on Patreon. So if you want to go over and support on Patreon and become a part of the pit crew, um, I'm going to give this car away and I may, I may give it to you. You want it? I mean, I'll give it to you. It's only going to be for the people that uh, are supporting me on the Patreon because we couldn't do this without you guys. Later news, we have Thumper. Hello. Have you figured anything out yet? No. Why are you waiting on me? No. You're the wire guy. No. Yes, you are. No. Yes, you are. What's up, Yes, you are. No. Yes, you are. Ah, ugly! So upon research, uh, we have figured out that we have to tap into this wire harness right now. Um, yeah. Yeah, right now. And we have to go for a black wire, which is obvious, uh, and a dark pink slash white wire. Uh, we think we found it, or Thumper thinks he found it, but he's going to do a voltmeter test to make sure that is the actual one. Hey, Thumper. Hi. Does it matter if the car is dead? Yeah. Shit. Here I come, I am Cine Man. Oh, 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 here I come, I am Cine Man. Hello, Thumper, I am Cine Man. Oh no! Okay, hello, that was probably really loud, I'm sorry. Okay, so now we'll put the key in the ignition. Don't you ask me, you ain't a vine. Yeah. Yeah. The car's on. Right turn. right turn signaling. Oh, it makes a cool noise. That has a little bit of power. What? Three volts. Right? Say it again. Three volts. Ah! That's three. One has four. Let's find one with more. Wait, is there two pink ones? There's two dark pink and white wire. <gasps> Could it possibly be the same wire? That'd be awful dumb. Hey, it's a Mustang. You're right. That's probably what happened. <laughs> we were sitting in a wild Mustang here, waiting on Thumper to figure out what the hell he's doing. He claims that there's two different wires that are giving him power. And we need to find the right wire. And here's Thumper. Oh, hi. oh you're gonna, you're gonna. We're gonna see if it works. Thumper, now explain to us what your new plan is here. All right, so I found two wires that have almost the same amount of power, but still not a whole bunch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheat, go ahead and hook up the mirror, have him turn on the turn signals and see if it turns on the nice little blinky lights. Blinky, blinky. That sounds like a solid plan, Thumper. I think it's gonna work. Look at me, boy. Ew. Uh, that oh, you want another beat? Yes, yeah. There 
It's light! It's a pinky light! We did it. So right now, Thumper is actually pulling... What is that stuff? Is that like... It's not 3M. It's some type of like... Uh, Ceiling glue shit. Um, he's pulling off that because that's one of the spots you need to run this wire to. Um, I'll give you guys my view over here since you can't see that. Uh, this is where the mirrors sit right here. Uh, and you have the <clears throat> this one that goes out to the exterior of the mirror. That's what gives you the controls to be able to control, uh, you know, everything like that. And I believe this connects to the actual triangle thing that goes here where you can adjust both mirrors. So this goes to the mirror, and this goes to the control panel to control both mirrors. It sits right here and you can control it. So right now, Thumper has got to wire it through this plastic we have sitting here to get it up in here just so it's a lot cleaner install. As you can see, he's reaching inside that door. Are you fisting the door? Yes. Move your fucking head, Thumper. God damn it. Filmed live in front of a studio audience, we have Ruin Car Revival. Thumper, uh, just explain exactly what's going on here. So if you guys can see in there, he is currently trying to get the boot off. Uh, it's like a wiring boot. Um, basically, the wire is already up here. That's what this is right here. That's what you watch them just do. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is you run it through the door and run it through that boot and then it comes out right here. There's a panel that goes there and then you run that wire down and then all the wiring is down there. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that's where we will tap in. So it'll be a completely clean install just like the rest of the wires. You can do it! You can do it! God damn, Mustang claims another line. Never gonna give me one, never gonna let you never gonna turn a man to hurt you. Guys, uh, we cannot get the wire bypass this clip. It's a clip thing that's clipped into something else. It will not go through. So, uh, we're going to option B, which is just as clean install. Just gotta run it to the front. So right now there is an antenna. Yes, that is an antenna um, that is <laughs> currently tied to a knot of wires that, that you know we were trying to uh, get fed through here. So what Thumper is gonna do right now is he's actually pulling the wires into the hood and then he's gonna bring it out of the top of the hood up there. Uh, and we've already found the two wires that connect to the blinker. Um, we're just gonna tap into those two wires. It's essentially the same thing. It's just as clean. We're just having to relocate it and you won't be able to see it anymore. And Thumper, would you like to show us your wires? See, just like that. We did it. Change the plan. There's a giant spider in the engine bay, so we're not gonna go up there. We actually did get it to work over here. Uh, literally just had to finagle with it a little more. And the original plan is going as well. <coughs> it is through the little rubber grommet thing and um, right now uh, Thumper is just pushing the rubber thing back on its like little seal thing uh, and then the cord is right here. Is this the Thumper? Yeah. Yeah, that's it right there and that gum comes to the dash like all of the other factory wires do and it will sit down in there just like all of them do. Now uh, Thumper is actually getting his ground ready um, instead of finding the black wire inside that like rat's nest of wires. Uh, what, are you gonna, what he's going to do is just crimp it, right? He's going to crimp it onto the black wire and then going to put it onto that nut right there uh, and that's going to ground it out just like that so he's going to do that and then he's already got the red one plugged in we should have power we'll be able to take off this mirror right here and put the new one on it'll look pretty good I did it no dick get that back <laughs> great if you grabbed your glasses and pulled them off <laughs> <laughs> you gotta turn it all the way to the right, like uh, uh, like all the way up. Hey, <laughs> <I> buffet. <laughs> Pretty super quick. <laughs> Got a little part of a fright. The light is an aluminum socket. <laughs> With that taken off, that is with the uh, that is what it looks like without a mirror whatsoever. We're now just going to simply install this one, uh, and then there's two plugins on the back. 
when normally there's only supposed to be one. This one goes to the stock component, uh, and then the other one, obviously, see that's the stock one. That is the uh, new one, and that white wire goes to the white wire that we just, you know, assembled and everything. It's a little hard to see in the video due to the battery almost about to be dead on the Mustang. We got to plug it up, but there it is. That is the new mirror on it. It looks awesome. It works functioning uh, like amazing. It, it really does look good. Um, I, I absolutely love it. It retains the stock look, retains the stock uh, little maneuverabilities. It's actually black and not sun stained and it has the blinker in there it almost looks like that's how the mustang should have came is with those blinkers and like i said guys it wasn't too hard to do just kind of had to get it through the little harness in there uh, and that was about the hardest part but the harder part is going to be opening up the other door on the other side and getting <laughs> i'm gonna die due to not being able to access the other side as well as we can get the passenger we're gonna go to plan b like we were going to do on the other one before we figured out how to get it through that harness uh, this side is much more difficult because this is where you have all the lightings and switches and everything for the dash So it's a much more complicated thing to do. However, we're gonna do what we did on the other side uh, And we're gonna run the wire underneath the hood underneath the panels So it's you won't see it unless you open up the hood and there's a lot more in the hood for you to look at So right now thumper is actually uh, we're testing these wires I think I found the two uh, running my hand all the way down to the uh, bulbs that sit on the very bottom of the Mustang for the blinkers uh, and there's a little uh, gasket thing that was holding all these wires in. So right now he is multimeter testing to see if these two wires that uh, I found are the right ones. Uh, we're also charging the battery. You can probably see my little trickle charger guy thing right there. Um, so we have power so I can show you guys the, uh, the, the blinkers on top of that. The Mustang needed to be charged anyways. So we just did some testing on that and we were half right, or I was half right I guess. Uh, it was not the wire I thought, but it was still in the same harness and Thumper figured out which exact wire that is. Uh, he's closing up those wires right now uh, with some electrical tape. <laughs> what he's going to do is now that we know that's that, we're going to go ahead and easily just wire the mirror on over here. It won't be hard at all because this is just going to go right underneath the hood, underneath the uh, body panels, uh, and then we'll just bolt up the, the mirror on that side. This is the harness right here that comes from the bottom bulb of the Mustang, uh, that guy right there. That leads, uh, this is a, I don't even know, this is kind of like a, a tubing or something that has its own little clamps in here. It sits in these like clamps, it's a uh, wire already. So what we did is we put the red, our, our uh, um, blinker wires through the same exact thing and zip tied it in, thumper zip tied it and it's really clean and it just goes inside and that is the new mirror on there and it looks beautiful and it does work. They both do work 100%. However, the battery is so dead, I will show you guys that tomorrow because I'm gonna let thumper go home here and then we're gonna work on some louvers. We're gonna do that, take those awful cracked, terrible things off and I got some good news for you guys about the Mustang. We are coming to the end, and so uh, next week's episode is going to mark the first episode of the finalization of the Mustang. We're going to be putting everything back together, not adding anything new. We're going to begin it all on together, making sure this thing will work, make sure the brakes work, because we are preparing for the clutch to come in, which is supposed to ship in like two weeks. So we have two weeks to get this thing like ready to go because we need to transport it. So basically the next two weeks is going to be cleaning the engine bay probably, just cleaning stuff up and getting things back together so it's ready for transport. After transport, we put the clutch in. After the clutch is in and this thing is moving like normal, we get the vinyl wrap it and after that, we're pretty much a go to give it away. Thank you for helping. You're welcome. Everyone, can I get a thump of your bitch in the comments if we can get that? Why is it not focused? Are you that, ugly? what are you doing? Just go home, okay? Go home, ball. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah. <laughs> there he is. Thumper. Did you get a hugger? No, no. Uh, uh, it doesn't zoom that far. <laughs> this is all it goes. <laughs> all right, Thumper, thanks for the help today. Sorry. Appreciate it, buddy. This is the wiring, the wiring machinist here. Ah. <laughs> Welcome to day two. <laughs> And I have a really bad cold. This has like been me since summer has started. <clears throat> Last week I was really bad. And then today I feel like shit. Yesterday I was developing a little cough, but nowhere near what I feel today. Like I feel so fatigued. 
I feel like nothing. Got my hockey gear out and actually am uh, drying that out. That's cool, right? Also got the baby Lotus on the uh, charger. It dies and I don't like keeping this charger on while I'm gone. Uh, like out of town, so we got her charging up because we're gonna be driving her pretty much everywhere here soon You're not here for the Lotus. You're here for the Mustang, right? You guys love this Mustang Yesterday, uh, Thumper helped me tremendously uh, getting these mirrors on. They look amazing. Both mirrors uh, It's kind of hard to show you guys both angles But we have that one over there and then if I walk over to the right here You will also see the other one on over there. Both are functioning. Both are wired perfectly Thumper is a freaking life savior, so um, big shout out to Thumper, I appreciate that, man. One of the biggest things I wanted done since I bought this car were these stupid louvers. Uh, this one's not so bad as the other one. Actually, it's not nearly as bad as the other one. It is in decent shape. However, we have got some upgraded ones. The other one's like cracked and like shattered. It's pretty bad. All right, so the moment of truth here. Let's check these bad boys out. They are full carbon fiber parts. Oh, yes, man. Check that out. That looks amazing. Check that out, guys. Hopefully the camera's staying focused on that, but check that out. That is beautiful. Holy crap. Okay, so I'm grabbing two things from this right now. One, I really like this. Like, the, I mean, this, this just looks so great. It really is. It's a nice finish and everything. Two, I hydro dipped one of these um, for a guy a while back, and holy crap, I did a good job. I pulled this out of here, I almost was like, oh my god, is this hydro dipped? Because like the one that I did, I did a really good job on. And honestly, looking at like a real one like this, and looking at the one that I hydro dipped, I'm actually really impressed at how, how good I did dip it. So uh, that, that's kind of something that I've taken some personal joy in, but these things look great. They're actual carbon fiber, um, and yeah, they, I'm I'm like more impressed with my hydro dipping skills, which I want to do again. It's getting hot. I need to get back into that. If you didn't know, uh, these things, these little things, are only held on by some 3M. Um, so what I'm gonna have to do is kind of just have to wiggle this out. Um, you can see how loose it is. Just gotta kind of get a flathead and try not to damage the actual paint underneath, and kind of just move it uh, up and down and. Once we do this enough, this should come loose and reveal the, the back window, if you will. Just like that, the rear louver on this side is off, and you can see how just nasty and disgusting this looks. I was able to retain this. Uh, it is not damaged whatsoever. It is a perfectly fine louver, so I might uh, that might actually be the next giveaway. We're going to give away to someone on the pit crew. Whoever wants this, I'll go ahead and sign it. Uh, now it's going to be about the prepping. I got alcohol. We're going to prep this stuff. Those alcohol pads are not going to be enough for my project because there were louvers on it previously. All right, guys, what's going on? Um, it's going to take me a second to get through this because, like I said, I'm very fatigued. I have, like, no um, body strength, and I'm coughing really bad, and I feel like garbage. So the reason I had you guys here is this is the end of the episode. We got the louvers on. Uh, we got the uh, blinkers on the... Uh, mirrors. What I got you here is to tell you that we are in the final stages of the Mustang. So uh, right now we have everything that's on the Mustang that ha I had in the garage. So everything is done as far as going on it right now at this moment. For the rest of this month we are getting the clutch shipped to us which should be shipped to us in the, on the 20th or 21st of May. Uh, so we can start that up in June. That is going to be a process. That is going to be hard for us to do because I've never done anything like that but I want to learn. Over the next episode or so uh, we're going to be putting the the car together it's it, we're gonna kind of like title this as like the finalization of the Mustang we are going to be putting everything back inside getting the panels clipped in getting the carpet stapled in correctly uh, with the little uh, latch things um, getting the rear seat completely out we still have two cushions back there putting a seat delete back there that's probably the only thing we are adding is the seat delete making sure all four tires are on with the new wheels uh, pumping the brake system we're gonna clean the uh, engine bay area I'm gonna have to remove the uh, cold air filter uh, and we're, we're gonna clean that entire 
bay area. Um, just clean it all the way up because it is dirty. Uh, we're gonna get a new carpet thing. I said you're saying that we're not buying, uh, we're probably not buying anything else, but it's wrong. Uh, we, we definitely are buying a couple more things. A carpet thing for the rear trunk. Uh, also gonna have Thumper come over and check out that wiring on the light. I'm sure he'll know how to fix it. Um, <clears throat> we're getting everything ready to move. The idea is to have this Mustang by the time I get the clutch kit, you're ready to drive. Like, like dead ass, we could go drive it right now. So, when we get the clutch kit, we can easily transport, I say easily, but it's not gonna be easy, transport the Mustang up to Amber's grandparents' house, uh, and we can start the clutch work. After the clutch work is done, and we've completely got a running Mustang that will do whatever it wants to do, next stage is going to be the exterior color. We're gonna decide on what we wanna do. Do we want racing stripes? Do we want a different color? And we're going to vinyl wrap it. This thing will be nothing. Nothing to vinyl wrap comparably to what I did with the Lotus. And then there also near the end will be a couple final touches. We still are waiting for taillights and headlights to come in uh, to really, really set off the outside of that. Um, and we probably got a couple more aero things we need to change out. Um, but right now we are in the finalizing stages of getting this Mustang completely back together, almost like what it was when I had it, and get it ready and get it transported. <laughs> with that said, <coughs> <coughs> With that said, if you have not already supported on the Patreon, make sure you go do that for, uh, I'm gonna be giving this away to someone on the Patreon. Someone's, someone's gonna need the Mustang really soon. So make sure you guys go on the Patreon. Pit Crew members, if you are part of the Pit Crew, thank you so much for still supporting. You guys, you know, it's coming up. The time has come up, you guys have been waiting for. It is right around the corner, and we have this happening, so I hope you guys are really excited. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. I am going to be cleaning my garage probably tomorrow. So we can start hydro dipping again. I need to order some uh, some air guns and stuff like that. So it's gonna be get really interesting. So if you guys don't already know, uh, if you don't follow me on my social medias, which is uh, at yummyr6 on Instagram or at I'm Yummy on Twitter, uh, I am out of school now, as most of you are aware. However, I'm not out of school now. I am taking 21 college credits over the summer. 21. If you're in high school, middle school, and you don't know what that means or how many actual courses that is. You probably don't understand the severity of that. This way, a full-time college student takes 15 credits a semester, 18 sometimes if they want to stretch it. I'm in 21 at two different colleges. So, I am going to have time at my house, but most of these classes are online. Well, all these classes are online. But my at-home stuff, I'm going to be doing a lot of college work. But uh, the big thing is I'm going to be home so I can take a break and go record a video or take a break and go hydro dip or something like that. So that's the that's the cool part. So I just want to let you guys know that. But this, if you didn't know, yes, I'm still in college even though the semester is over. I'm still slammed with work. So don't like think I'm going to party. So far this summer, uh, I've been to Louisville, Kentucky. I've been to Mentor, Ohio, which is basically Cleveland. I'm going to Virginia Beach, of course. I'll be in St. Louis. I'll be in Raleigh, North Carolina, Chicago, Illinois, Nashville, Tennessee, Indianapolis, Indiana, and Atlanta, Georgia, all this summer while taking these courses. So uh, stay tuned to the channel on why I'm in these places, and hopefully we can meet up or do something. That's enough talking. I love you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for being here, supporting. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Comment, like, and go support on the Patreon. I really appreciate it, guys. You guys have a good one, and later.